Hey guys, Blanchy back again with another Tech Tuesday video. This week I'm going to show you how to set up the fuel level function in the Microtech Dash. Uh, it's one of the more common requests I get and it, it is very simple and easy to set up and it's a really cool function um, that is handy to have on your streetcar. I've got a sender unit here. It's out of a Mazda 808 RX3. They're only a two wire unit. Um, pretty simple and easy to connect up. You've got this one here is a ground wire and the one on the top is the signal wire that goes back to the dash itself. If you look on the Microtech diagram, see here, the green wire is the signal wire um, that connects into the back of the dash. And that will connect up like so. And the other wire is simply a ground wire. It um, goes back to ground, same place as the, the dash itself is ground. And that's it, two simple wire connection. Um, if you follow along, I'll uh, show you how to set it up in the dash now. All right, well, before we get too carried away with the settings in the dash itself, we probably should have a closer look at the sender unit. These are all essentially the same from one model to another. They've got a float, which sits on the top of the fuel level and bobs up and down as the fuel level goes up and down in the tank. We've got a stop here for when the tank is full and another stop down the bottom for when the tank is empty. And the unit's got a variable resistor in it. So what we're attempting to do when we calibrate it in the dash is we're telling the dash what the resistance is when it's at full and what the resistance is when it's empty. There's a couple of ways you can do this um, once a unit's set up in the car. You can pull the sender unit out itself and do it how I'm doing it now for this demo. Or you can um, fill the tank right up to the top and calibrate it at the high setting with a full tank and then drain the fuel out and calibrate it again when the tank is empty. Um, they're basically the two only ways you can accurately do it. Um, either or works just fine. All right, now moving on to the settings in the dash itself. Touch top left corner to get in handset mode. And then we need to scroll down to the sensor calibration screen, which is page 13. As we go across, you'll see there's two settings, the fuel low and the fuel high. We'll start with calibrating the low setting. Now what we're aiming to do is adjust the setting here in the calibration screen so it's matching the actual resistance value that it's seeing. So have a look here, I've got the sender unit sitting at the low level. And if we leave that sit for a second um, and let the, the sensor settle and, and normalize. It finishes at around 2.1. So we'll adjust that so they match 2.08. Now we'll go and do the high setting. Move the sender up so it's touching the top stop which would be the full fuel tank level. and let that settle and the reason you've got to let it settle is because there's like a delay built into the dash and the reason that they do that is so when you're driving around corners um, and you know the fuel level itself is is uh, bobbing around in the tank the gauge on the screen doesn't jump all around and go crazy all the time so left that sit for a bit it's at 0.44 we'll adjust the high calibration, so that's it around that level. Now if we go back to the display screen, we'll see that reads 
100. And as we drop the fuel level down, the level itself on the screen will come back down. And we'll finish at zero. Now, another feature that we probably should mention, if we go back to the handset view, there are another couple of adjustments that we can make. If you want to read the, the fuel level in actual litres, you can input the size of the tank, which in an RX3's case, they're a 60 litre tank. So if we put um, 60 in there and go back to our display screen, it'll now show the fuel level. Instead of a percentage, it'll show it in actual litres. Uh, some guys prefer to do it that way. Some guys are happy to read it as a percentage. Now, there's another setting as well, which we probably should have a look at. And that is the alarm setting for when you've got low fuel. So this is done as a percentage as well. So if we set that to, say, 20% and go back to the dash screen, when the fuel level drops below 20% in the tank, it'll bring up the alarm and it will bring the, uh, the fuel icon to let you know that you need to go and fill up. And that pretty much covers all of it. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, as you can see now, uh, setting up the fuel level on these dashes is um, relatively simple and straightforward. Uh, like most of the Microtech stuff, it is very simple and easy to use. I hope you all learned something from it and um, look forward to seeing you next time. If you've got any ideas on what you think my next video should be about, post it down below in the comments and let me know and uh, I'll see if I can make it happen for you. See you next time.